Okay, so uh, yeah, straight ankle lock. Boo, boring, old, uh, doesn't work. Yeah, whatever. I, I still, I still get tapped with the straight ankle lock. So it's actually my favorite leg lock. If I, if I uh, would say it's, it's going to be my S tier. And like you know, from what I noticed, people don't have trouble like getting into the position, like uh, the Irimi or like the you know single AX, whatever you call it. The problem is usually with the finish itself, right? And there's like a few a few uh, areas that, that kind of need, need addressing in that. So first thing is like the position of the fulcrum, right? So I notice sometimes people, because because I, I do this bit during seminars where I, I ask someone to finish this training call on me, and then I see them like try to pull it for like five minutes and you know, they still can get the tap. So the first thing that usually goes wrong is that you go too high on the leg, of course. So of course the higher on the leg, the more muscle there is, the harder it's gonna break. I mean, you know, I don't think, I've ever seen anyone break someone's shin like this, unless you're literally the Hulk or something like that. So it's called an Achilles lock because you know we want to kind of pay attention to the Achilles, right? And I like my favorite way of finishing is actually like a kind of a shallow control. Like some people call it like old school, uh, you know, uh, stuff, whatever. So I like going shallow with my you know wrist, is, uh, with my thumb is kind of like the limiter here, right? And the thing is. I also want to extend the lever here on the foot, right? So it's going to be here and then I'm going to be attacking here, right? So starting the single way X here, I go here and I want to maintain like a high grip. This is very important. Like a lot of the times you'll see people try to finish and their grip is somewhere like here and then, you know, they're going to try and they're never going to get it because there's too much space here, right? So here, so here. And the way I like ensuring that my grip is high is like I think going under and keeping it here. Okay. And then the next important part is that I want to extend the lever in the back. So I'm gonna do kind of like the bodybuilding pose here. So here and I'm gonna pinch it back. And now you should already yeah, I see the face every time, like it's there. So from here I pinch and now all it takes for me is to just like that was true posture up a bit and it's like a very minimum movement versus what you see sometimes guys like they go on the side they go all the way and still can get a tap right so even here for example even if he's like for example holding my head which is a pretty like common old school defense right where they, they try to prevent you from yeah when they try to prevent you from like going here right but if we're effective with our control here we don't really need that much movement so even if he's like controlling my head here. For example, if I if I drop my elbow from here, that I can get the tap. So here, so if I have good control here, with this pinch, I can get a tap by just yep. Yep. <laughs> so that's that's my favorite way of finishing. And if you combine it, look if you combine it with like the, the usual way of finishing that people go on the side, I don't really have to like do that much because this is very a very strong pinch and look at look at the foot it get, gets extended here here yep. so even though I'm not really pulling on anything I'm getting the tap immediately so first of all my wrist the sharp part of my wrist goes into the tendon and then secondary is gonna get the stretch here okay so this is like the way I, li I like finishing the most but also I know you know competition stress, whatever, sparring, you know, so every round in sparring is like world championships, so sometimes you like, you forget details, right? So you go like all the way, which I see a lot of also, right? You go all the way, and then if you try to like apply the same rules, first of all, I don't have that pinch because my elbow is so deep, so I don't really have a way to like extend the foot. And then if I try to like posture up here, because the soft part of my forearm is on the Achilles, I'm not gonna get like decent, uh, a decent bite on the on the tendon. So even if I if I'm gonna get this, I have to like. See, I have to go. Yeah, that's why I want to add a kind of like a toehold-ish pressure to that, and I do that by actually just looking over. Yep. So in this one here, if I have a, a shallow control here. All it's gonna take for me is to like just gently posture up or drop my elbow. But if I'm if I go deep here, I still need to maintain that high grip. But then 
I use the fact that it, this is actually good for, for the escape you mentioned. If it boots, so like extends, I can still go here and then I can step, go over, right? So, but the important, thing, the important part is I'm gonna like look over my shoulder, I'm gonna like, and then fall back. So like, to get that extension. So, usually, yeah. So first thing, shallow, thumb, always pointing up, remember, don't, you know, uh, different grips, right? Different, so many ways to finish. Like, everybody has their own favorite way. This is my favorite way, so. Wrist on the tendon, thumb pointing up, I grab under here, and then I pinch. So I want to extend, I really want that extension here. And you can see that he's very happy about it. So then he's gonna go here, or just posture up. And then for the deep control, same thing here, but I'm just gonna like tap and go over my shoulder to get that additional rotation here. Okay, questions for this one? Uh, are you, are you, when you get the shallow grip, are you pulling the thumb tight to your chin? Yeah, I like, I actually use this more. Okay. So like, because I, because I'm going to get tired, right? Yeah. So like here. That's why I like to like maintain it here, but I got to remember that I don't want to like yeah. over, overdo it because I still want the wrist. So I'm like here and I like just maintain it high here. So like, and then the pinch is very like, the pinch is what's going to seal the, the grip really. And when you pinch, are you, is it? Is it about bringing the elbow into the rib? Like, is that? Yeah, it's like, it's like about like I want to extend my like extend it over the foot like here, okay, so okay. like as, as far as I can go. Right. Yeah. That's why it's useful. Like if you want to use here, like here, it's gonna be very very tight. Even though my my grip is kind of drooping a bit, because I have that extension, it's gonna be like a good bite. Yeah. Looks good. Is the okay. Elbow, is the elbow just back? Yeah. yeah. Or, or I, my elbow touch the. No, no. Like like I said, if if I do this, then I lose the alignment. On the tendon, like I, I like to have the tendon on the wrist, or like in general, I like my thumb pointing up, so it's not like anywhere here. It's just like pointing up, so I have good control over this here. Let's try it real quick. One, two, three. So you're not even you're not even turning down. You're just here. I'm just like I'm just like create the posture up. Like. So I don't want, I don't want like I don't want to lean back per se. I want here. I want to like extend myself up. Yeah. Okay, so you're not, so it's, it's the difference between this. And yeah, 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 exactly. It's the difference between like actually yeah, okay. pulling down or just like. I got flexible feet. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. yeah. Then you can try like going all, all the way to the elbow, for example, on the side, like you usually like to go finish a lot of the time. So I want to go down like all the way. Subtle, subtle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that that feels like I would definitely get it. Yeah, um, I just think it's, you're getting it like really, really good, like right here. And I'm like, okay, like I like I feel like if I understand the mechanics of this, like belly down will be easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here, try to remember, remember um, to keep your wrist. Now, okay, I think I'm starting to get it. Come close to here, and then try to like uh, open up your hand and grab it like this here, and then you pinch, and then you like try to like posture up. Okay. Here, here, or oh, sorry. So like this, oh. with the shallow ball. Oh, yeah. Here, it's like up and like pinch. And from here I can like up, or I can oh. just go here. And then if I go deep, I'm gonna go like deep. Back. You need to more. I need to like rotate this uh, to stretch it because I don't have the elbow to stretch it. So I wanna like go over. I'm gonna go like to the side here. And the X is that it kind of prevents you from actually standing up from here because this is gonna be. Be blocking it. So usually, yeah, here, here. I want th this attachment. That's why I cover this, and then here, get the finish. Right. So you want some sort of attachment to your opponent's leg because if, if it's just like all loose, then you're just gonna like yeah. go home, right? And I'm not gonna get the tap. Right. So here, you know, some people, if for example, they have like shorter legs. Like the, the opponent is taller, like you know, can go here, 
here. This is very strong. If you can like extend here. Um, no, this version is like go here, here. Although I don't like this one too much because it can get like cork screwed here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I don't like this one. No, specifically. So, yeah, so the important part is like staying attached to the hips, and then even like you saw, even if they're like booting in, you can still like get that bend on the side to like attack on the side here. Do you expect the the, it, the damage here? Because that's where that's where I was feeling when he was doing it on me. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like if, if for the straight one, it's gonna be like yeah, the tendons here. I mean yeah. the ligaments. Okay, okay. And then if you like, of course, if you do the one where you bend, it's gonna be like more of like a, kind of a toe hole thing. Okay, maybe, okay. Yeah, like yeah. On the side here. Yeah, I felt it when he was doing like the first one. I felt it really strong. Like yeah. I didn't even feel it here. I felt it right there, but very strong. Figure four grip for for the straight ankle locks, and uh, it's gonna be a bit different because. This is going to be mostly on the tendon, so it's going to be attacking the tendon. And the way we can actually, you know, go on about setting this up is, for example, if we're trying to finish, for example, we have like the deep option, and we're holding here, and we're having trouble finishing. We can actually use the fact that our legs are, uh, legs, our arms are connected, and we can just scoot here. And then, since this is a very like strong um, frame that we get, I got to remember that I want to like go on the biceps. Because if I go here, I'm going to lose that sharp edge again. So I, o I always want my thumb to be pointing up. And now, you notice it, it comes in, comes in very quick. So here, here. Yeah. Yeah, it's very like because it's tight, it's so tight. You can see. Uh, but it's going to be here because I'm not really doing any sort of stretch, right? So this is going to be. I can of course grab this additionally, but I don't want my wrist to like rotate because. It's going to be a lot harder to finish if my wrist is flat from this position because I'm going to have to actually you know, apply some more um, force here. It's going to be like a lot better if I can go here. If I go shallow, then there's also an option where sometimes you can, for example, you go here and then you kind of overshoot. And what's happening? But then you can't really finish from here, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to connect far and then what's going to happen, you're going to rotate your upper body for it to come on here. Yep. So you kind of want to want the wrist to fall into place. Yeah, on the tendon, right? So it's like a, it's like a saw. But the important part is, to, you're not really doing it with your hands. You kind of like want to freeze your frame, your upper body, and then you want to rotate. Yeah, like the XL. So you can either go shallow immediately from here. So here, shallow. Get it? Or if you go deep, you overshoot. Switch and then you rotate on the tendon. So this is gonna be, yeah, this is mostly gonna be on the tendons because I don't have a good way of like, I know you can, of course, sometimes here, you can apply additional pressure here yep, 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 yep. to the side, but this is, this is enough to get like a good, and also what's nice about this is this actually works higher on the leg. So if I was to go here, I can still get some decent. Yeah. Yeah. If I, if I, of course, I, if, that, that's why also like single leg X is nice because notice what he's doing. He's lifting his ass up because he wants to relieve the pressure. That's why it's good to have like control. Yeah. So, yeah. With this one, you can actually gives you like a good margin of error for like the positioning of the fulcrum. So you can go like all the way here and still get some good compression on like the tendons here. Okay, so here we can switch to this, or if you go deep, switch and then like rotate to like let it fall in place. Questions? So is this the same mechanic as uh, alky lock? No, because your uh, alky lock, for example, uh, you're gonna be attacking like so here. Cool. So the alky lock, it's gonna be rotation on the ankle here, right? So see, uh, still rotate this way too. Yeah, but with this one, I'm, like if I get shallow, I don't, I don't have to do anything. Like I, this is a very strong frame. Uh, but I'm not really rotating his ankle. Okay. I'm just rotating my upper body to get this sharp part back on the tendon here. So here, back on the tendon. Of course, I don't want to rotate his leg because it's going to be a different story. Mm. So when I'm here, I want to just go like here. 
too late. Bring it back. Sorry. Let's try it. One, two, three. I understand. Like, I, okay, I understand the concept of what we're doing, like this. I just feel like I don't know how to actually create the right pressure, right? So mm -hmm. I go, I go here. This, this is what I'm doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so then, like, what do I do with my? I, okay, so my feet. Can I just go outside, Ashi? Is that okay? Uh, I don't really use outside Ashi for this. Okay, I, I'm okay. usually afraid of getting smashed through okay. there. Let's, let me just do it now because I yeah. just to get the mechanics of like the pressure right. Okay, so we're here. Um, but I, I actually don't want to okay. rotate my body. I want to like if you're doing this from here, you want to like be squared up to him. So like it's just your elbow that's going back. Yeah. Okay. I, I realized what I was doing. I had, oh, yeah. yeah. I, had a, I had a closed fist. That's. What, oh yeah, yeah. 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 That makes a big difference. So um, if I'm, if I go here, here. You try to like, yeah, if you're like, if you're pinching, don't turn, like try to just pinch, just bring the like, elbow back and the shoulder. Oh shit, I so Okay, so here, this one is easier. Yeah, that one is like, yeah, this is like very, very fun. Yeah, this is like a very, cause this, this one I actually am pretty good at already. Yeah, this one I, I, I do, I do this one a lot. I, I don't, so hold on, the other one is, oh, it's like a shot, it's like a reverse shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those, those I understand. The only one that I don't get, but the one I want, like the one I, I find the most interesting is, okay, we're, where, do you care? Okay, do you want the heel like past the ribs? Is it okay if it touches the ribs? I usually, so I usually like, uh, I usually have it like fast. Okay. It's like, because I'm like here. Yeah, okay, okay. And then try to like bring your thumb close to the leg. So it's like, so this part of the wrist, the specific part is like here. So is this good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here, and then like, you pinch back, pinch back more. I see like, I feel like you have like a lot more space to go here. Like, so let's so look at it so here. I feel like you have like yeah so much more space left here. So elbow to rib, okay. And don't turn, like don't turn okay. for now. <laughs> yeah. Try to like extend up instead of like pulling back, you yeah, like sure extend yourself, yeah. like posture. Okay, I'll keep trying, trying behind you guys. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> if you're having trouble, you can like go under here, and then push it back, and then get it. Or sometimes, if you're finishing, you can like go both legs on the hips, and that's gonna give you like a lot of extension to get it. Very, very nice. Yeah. And then. Because yeah, I know that's like a uh, problem for a lot of people. Like, especially wrong with me because I'm a big, big guy. Exactly, yeah. So like yeah, so I would like suggest like for example if it's like if the, the single leg X is like brings you too close, then you can try either going under or switching to like both legs on the hip to like get that extension. Because my problem is to like yeah, to get, like you said, higher. Mm -hmm. so for example, if you're like starting, if you're starting like and you're having trouble here, yeah. then you can always like, for example, here, go back and then like scoot back and then get like some finishing. Like this. And then you want to like posture up. So yeah. See, that was the detail I was missing. Yeah, so you don't want to necessarily go back. That lets you get the elbow. Yeah, you want to like posture up. Yeah, can I try it again? Then I go deep. Yeah, deep. deep. Uh, so if you go deep, right? at first I don't like doing this because this makes it harder for me to rotate myself relatively to the leg. So I start here and then I want to rotate like this, just like this. Yeah. So you want you want the wrist back on the tendon. So. Yeah. Is this just making it uncomfortable for her? Which one? The, like this is just yeah, uncomfortable for her. It's not gonna like break her, right? Uh, I would. I probably pretty sure people are gonna because like, I get a lot of people with this also. Oh, yeah, they yeah. Tap, yeah okay. like, so on the second one, you mean to take it? Yeah, that makes more than that. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be the tendon because I'm not getting any stretch. Yeah. So it's just attacking like the. the just down here, or you actually feel in the ankle? Because at the moment, I feel on the ankle. Oh, but that's gonna depend. Because like for example, uh, like I've been doing this like for such a long time. Yeah. Like for example, right here, and if I switch, me, see I don't even do like, because my grip is like so strong, so I, I make use of the 
See, like here, right? Yeah, so it's tight. here, I don't even have to like. You left up and the right down. No, no, like. Just yeah, it's tight. Already because because of my wrists, because of my wrist yeah. here. And then for the deep one here, yeah. just rotate until it goes yeah. to the side. So it's gonna depend. So like, <laughs> line up. <laughs> here, so here I have this. I'm gonna switch and then connect here. So it's already like. No, like I want like here, and, and I, I use my bicep here. Yeah. I'm not even doing anything, this is just yeah. the frame. Uh -huh. If I was to like go back, then yeah. I'm gonna break her leg. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just the frame that's doing the business. Yeah. yeah, the frame is doing. That's why I always want to maintain like high grips. Like that's why I said like, that's why I use this. That's why I grab my bicep because I want the frame to be tight and like high. You can really extend. It's like with guillotines, right? You can like trip someone out if you want to like falling down, right? Same, same kind of concept. What about the second one? Uh, which one? The, the deep one. The deep one, yeah. The deep one's yeah, here. Yeah, for real. I mean, like, here. It's not like yeah. Yeah. Connect, and then I'm going to just make this fall back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, very, it's pretty nasty because like you don't feel it, and then suddenly it's yeah, like, it's yeah. on. Yeah, it's just like right on. How do you feel? Yeah. 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 And then I'll just hear. Yeah. And then just hear. So this is just my frame. If I can get it, then I'm going to extend. But if I can, like... I already feel this yeah. right? Yeah. 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 He's maybe the only one. If, if I want, I you can. You can flip the side. Yeah. And then you can even like add some rotation. Yeah, here. yeah. He's a little, like, he's a so you can do like combine this. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, right? part of New York, isn't he? I actually know him. I've played him before. I do make it. No hard. For example, I'm in the single leg X, but for whatever reason, like, the guy just like hit his, hit his leg. Something just happens because, like, you know, they don't want to get like ankle locked in. Instead of like trying to dig in for it, what I'm gonna do here is from here I'm gonna kind of align my arm with the, the leg and then I'm gonna just fall on the side here. So I have this his leg like trapped. First of all, my body's on the leg and then my arm is just facing up, my palm up and here like this. Next, I'm gonna kind of jump and push his leg onto like my arm. So here I'm gonna jump over, push it here. Okay, so, uh, so the toes are like kind of on my bicep here and I'm gonna just sandwich it like this. So there's like some pressure here, right? And then the next step, I'm gonna push enough to get the heel out. And then from this position, I just have to pull gently out. It's kind of similar to like a, you know, like a kind of a heel hook, but this is like a different position. But I rely on the fact that I'm kind of like trapping his toes here. And then from here, if I, want, I don't even have to connect my arms here, I can just like try to pull out very gently and it's gonna come on very strong, right? So like here, he's on the single leg X position here and then he's like hiding his leg. So I'm gonna drop it here. So I, I put my forearm in front and then I lay down here. Next, I'm gonna kinda put my, put, put my body up and push. So here, I don't want to do it in one step because most probably if you try to do it in one step, you're just going to like overshoot and it's going to be gone, right? So I want to do it like nice and slow. So here, first step, put this here and then I'm just going to like use my body to push out the heel here. And see the toes are trapped almost under my armpit here. And then from here, I'm, I'm still lying on my shoulder and I can just pull gently on the heel oh. and get like a kind of a... Kind of outside heel hook, just feels to me exactly. Yeah, not really, not really that much on the knee, right? More like. Then maybe my knee is fucked because I feel it exactly. <laughs> okay. I okay. feel exactly so usually, here on the outside. Usually I get the, like, usually I pop ankles with this, but okay, something new. We learn something new. Uh, yeah. So but this in, is. But in the fight, it's a heel hook, right? Well, I would say if you're gonna like. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say it's gonna be like right on the. You, you, you know, sometimes you can hide stuff. You can say, no, it was a straight ankle. <laughs> Excuse me, instant replay. Where's the instant replay? I wanna see it, right? No, the position also. Yeah, but this is like a pretty nice thing because, you know, sometimes people think like they have, you know, they're safe and you can like actually <laughs> jump here. Are you going on it's a toll. No, there's no weeping. There's this all. Single leg X. Nothing, nothing happening here. The, the knee is like, you know, loose. <laughs> have, you right? seen, have you seen people finish AOK locks in the IBJJF? 
it's completely illegal, but people are like, it's an ankle lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and the ref yeah, just lets yeah, it yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, so questions for this one. Remember, the, the key's hiding. So I align my forearm here. I, I, I like pointing it up. It's, it's a bit easier to like uh, maneuver in this position here. And then I'm gonna like, like lift myself and push so I can sandwich, <laughs> sandwich the foot between the forearm and my body. And then I'm just gonna push out enough so that the heel pops out. And then I can just like gently bring it up to like get some nice rotation. Okay. okay? Let's try it. One, two, three. You pull on the heel. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. I, I just That's what people my... say. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I feel that my knee, I don't know why, but okay. I, it I, works. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. And now here. I want to try this one. To pop it out. Fist up. So, so, so you know why you might feel it in your knees actually? Because actually you probably have more flexible feet. Yeah. So if your feet are really flexible, sometimes it'll go up to the knee. Maybe. Yeah, that, that's that's possible. Sense. Yeah. Because the feet can be flexible, but you're people talk about knee flexibility. Knee flexibility is like not a fucking thing, okay? Like actually I'm a liar, to some extent it is, but it's much less so. It, you know, it depends on how fucked your ACL is probably. That's yeah. true, yeah. <laughs> If you don't go too far, because like that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Like if you try to do it, do it, do it in one step, you're probably gonna overshoot and your leg's gonna the like, okay, foot's so gonna come out. So first of all, you wanna trap the, the leg between like your forearm and your side of your butt. So here and then like try to try to put put her leg on your forearm. So, like, yeah. So first first yeah, first without the heel. So first without the heel. So like the entire yeah here. And then you bring the yeah. Okay, and now. Oh, wait, let me just get someone to demonstrate. Sorry. Let me show you. So we're here. Uh, just like this. So here. Yeah. Like, in this position here. So look, I like put it here. And what I want to do is I want to like bring the entire leg here. So like laying down on the leg inside here. And from here, I just want to push enough to like pop the heel. That's not even. That's not even it. This is it. Yeah, I, but I don't really connect. I just like very, very lightly pull it out, like up to your face. Cool. You want to do that one? Okay. It's different than what we were doing before. Shot you like this. And then hold on like that. And then push it forward. My toes are kind of out, but yeah, I just feel like Start from the top. So here, so see the toes are trapped? On my bicep, and then and then I can just like bring this out. And it's gonna come on the shoulder. Don't leave your mat. I know, since I know. Okay, so he needs to have some sort of alignment with my Achilles. I can gently off center my leg, but of course I don't want to like pop my heel out like an idiot because that's not not like gonna be good, right? Then I can just like I can just off center it just a little bit to like buy myself. This is just to buy myself some time. Okay, and I'm gonna use the fact that there's usually some sort of loop here, right? So I'm gonna use it to go under. I'm gonna bring it all the way here to connect here. And now what's important, I want, this time I want my wrist flat, right? I want my wrist flat, I want the toes under my armpit here. I want it rotated. The heel is pointing towards me, the knee is pointing outside. And then, uh, you know, uh, some people, I've seen people finishing like, they, they cup the cup the toe, cup the feet. But I've always had a problem with that because this is Asia, people have smaller feet. Like I'm a size 13, so it's easy for people to get this on me. But you know, for me it's like very, very awkward. That's why I prefer like this kind of a shotgun grip situation. Here, here, and I connect like so. And now, important thing, I wanna pinch. I wanna pinch to trap the toes. And now, here's, a, here's another example of like moving your upper body. So I don't wanna work with my arms. I want to like maintain this position here and then I want to rotate my upper body here and it's going to come on very strong if you, if you have a good frame here. So here and the important thing is the pinch because if I don't have the pinch 
I'm probably still going to be able to get it, but it's going to take me much longer to get to that point. There's a storm coming. <laughs> so here, here, and I pinch. The pinch is important. Then here, and then I need to remember like, I want to have this nice angle here, so that I can apply rotation. So like, here. And then this is gonna like, do this here, or even force it with this, and then I use my entire upper body to rotate. So not just my arms, pinch, and then it comes on very strong, okay? So from the top, so he's attacking me here. I'm like, I can boot in a bit. You know, here, by myself sometime, and everyone go from outside in, all the way here, connect, pinch, pinch is very important, and then I'm just gonna rotate to the side. So basically what I'm going for is like this kind of rotation here. That's why I want this nice angle. If, if the angle is like off, then it's gonna be, still can get it, it's just gonna take a lot more versus like if this is a straight angle here, like so. Okay, so I make use of the fact that there's like yeah, this, this thing here because of course if I try to dig it through here if he's doing a good job of like connecting his knee to the heel then it's gonna be fucking hard, right? So I use the fact that I can go here and then I can bring it out here. Boom, boom, pinch and get the lock. Questions? Let's try. One, two, three. Don't, don't fall to the, to the back, because if you fall to the back, you're going to extend this leg and the angle is going to be off. So you want to stay like a straight angle, angle here, yeah. It's going to be a lot stronger, because you, you don't, so you don't want to like extend this leg. You don't want to like fall back. The you same wanna, with the heel hook, you want to... Yeah, you want to keep that straight angle here, like, on the leg. Okay. So remember, like, uh, heel pointing at you, um, the knee pointing away from you. And also, I like to keep, like, a good posture, so don't, like, hunch forward. You keep a good posture and you pinch your elbows like strong. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot easier versus like if you're here because you're gonna you're gonna like give him more space if you if you like hunch forward versus yes. here. It's like a nice strong frame to like keep the toes extended and like okay. And don't lose use just your arms. So you're here, this is like frozen and you wanna like rotate your entire yeah upper body. So you know, stay, stay like an angle like this here. So don't like do this. This stays like this stays pinched. And then you're like also keep your. Uh, I like keeping my wrist like flat here. And this here. Flat. Yeah. Now if you pinch, 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 pinch. Yeah. It's strong. Here. What's your name? So you want like a good, good connection with the with the ankle here. So you don't want your wrist. In this example, you don't want your wrist like off of center. You want it flat because there's like a lot more coverage, and that's going to give you a lot more like force to work with. Yeah, exactly. Too much, too much Thank you. You want to have your wrist on the heel. So if if it's like somewhere, then it's not going to like you're not going to have that leverage to like get the breaking. Oh, the mirror! Yes. Oh, okay. You want that angle here also. It's going to be easier if the angle is like a straight angle. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be very careful. Should I do it? Uh, that's why I want to like make ankle locks brutal again to like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. get, get, uh, uh, make people uh, get decent. Uh, yeah. But it's super frustrating because like in, um, when I showed it, when I show it, I'm like, oh yeah, no, you have to do it like this, mm -hmm. it's okay. But then I tried doing during rolling and people just go like, well, this hurts, but fuck you. Oh yeah. Well, I, I like the nice thing is like, uh, I like training with like, Lower belt, like white belts, because mm -hmm. you can like practice shit. Yeah, okay. You don't have to stick to your A game. You can just like explore new stuff mm -hmm. and like, you know, if you try to lock enough white belts, you're gonna be able to like move right. to blue belts, you know, right. make like blue belts and step so by on. Step. So step by step, right. yeah, exactly. Like, you know, fair point. Yeah. I want to also show you some other 
um, positions from which you can get like the, uh, the reverse grip. Uh, and actually, uh, how I came to use it was actually from 50-50, because it's very strong from 50-50. Because we, again, we have this loop here, right? Usually, so I can, of course, go inside. And actually, you know, actually, I even finish like a few competition matches with this. So from 50-50 here, I go here, deep, and then I can move it back, or I can just go 50-50 here, shallow. Oop. <laughs> No, it's, it's just a, it's a, just a yeah. So, so actually, the way I, I learned this move was was from 50/50. So I'm 50/50 here, outside going in, here, here, and then of course if you go deep, you rotate outside, here, or just go shallow, and then get a finish. Uh, also, kind of a similar situation like if we're inside, here attacking, we have double trouble. Control here. I can actually, you know, sometimes we switch to be able to dig, but sometimes we can just switch and just get the finish from here. So even from, from an inside position here, I can just get through. Even if I overshoot, I can. You can use this in like different scenarios, right? So 50 50, inside out, uh, outside in, sorry, here. And depending, like you can go like shallow, get this, or deep. Connect and then force it back like so. Or if I'm in an inside position here, I the double leg control here, so I can go here. Same same setup as before. Here, and then I'm just going to rotate again, to make it go into place. Or if I can just get the shallow, then I just go up. It's shallow. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Okay. It does, okay? So one 50-50 and then from like the inside position, secondary leg, we have the, the control and then... Questions? Uh, uh, when you do 50-50 ankle lock, how, how, how you control with the legs? Is it like this way or...? So like, this way? Uh, actually I do it like, so it's gonna depend. So like for example, I'm here, I usually can get it like right, right on here. I don't even have to like go on, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yanking on it. So here, uh, so usually I am able to finish from here. Okay. But if like I want to like, uh, you know, do something else, I can, I could switch okay. yeah, here. Uh, it's gonna be very tight. Or if I have enough space, I can collapse this under. And like finish this here. Are you sure? Is this 50 /50? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so like, uh, that's just a 50 50. Yeah. And then um, you want to basically. Just like your. Maybe I'll sort 50 50. Here. So, like, I just do this loop. So, my outside hand is going to go like through. Yeah. So, or if I can just get it here. Yeah. So, you it's like it goes it? outside in. On the tendon, what, what it needs to be, but like I said, with this one you can get away with a lot yeah. because it's so tight. So like if I even go like high around the leg, I can still get something out of it because it's very uh, basically it's compressing the, the muscle. Uh, calf slicer. Yeah, kind of like a calf slicer with your arm, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel the pain? Yes, yeah. please. <laughs> I like the pain. <laughs> okay. Feel the proper Don't pain. Don't pain. No, I'm okay. scared. So here, yes, yeah, so here. Yeah. Go like if I go deep. Yeah. Here. I'm gonna rotate, get yes. back. Ooh. Yeah, very <laughs> unpleasant, right? Very unpleasant. <laughs> and then, like, and then if you can just go shallow, you go shallow. Yeah. Also, and then, yeah, if you go higher on the leg, still get decent. Yeah, so it's actually here. Yeah, so it's Not actually the here, head. yeah, you can still get yeah. good compression. Works better. Work, like, if you go too high, I would argue it's not gonna be as effective. But this area is also like very yeah. sensitive, just under the muscle where like it connects. Mm. It's also gonna be like very Yeah, just very the beginning nasty. of the cut. Yeah. Oh, that's the best part? Yeah. I mean, the best part to me is still the tendon because it's like right there, it's mm. exposed. But this is also gonna be like, this one gives you a margin of like, of this to like, so you can like yeah. get okay. decent like pressure. All right, cool. Thank Let's you. Work on it. Thank yeah. you. Like properly, so I, I can just keep it up here. And I, then right you just. Yeah, you can just keep it here, so that if you rotate like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus if you have this, 
you're kind of gonna be pushing the leg and you're kind of gonna get stuck. Okay. So like I like doing this, like just this here to work with. Yes. And you like to do here the feet to feet or? Well, from this one, all uh, depends. Uh, well, this is like not like this is an inside position. So in general, if you're attacking an inside heel hook and you have the secondary leg open, this is like uh, an option to like attack the secondary leg. So mm -hmm. you know, the details of like the, the, the knee line control is like secondary to this one because this is just, like, okay. an option to like attack the, the other leg, right? Okay. Will you just do this? Yeah. Turn. Back. Okay. Nice. You gotta remember. You gotta remember, like, not to let, not to let your like uh, wrist like go down. With this one, you want it to like, point up. It's gonna be a lot stronger if it points up. No, you can't because of the wrist. Yeah, because like there, there's always danger. Like if you put this, then your wrist is gonna like go. Yeah, it goes flat. It goes like flat. Yeah. 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 You want it to stay sharp. Yeah, thank you. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. If a guy is locking his legs, figure four from here, what I actually like doing also is just getting a straight ankle lock on this leg. Because if I can push down here, I can get like good separation already. So I can flatten this here. So here, so I'm gonna push down. So, here, so like for example if I'm like struggling to like open something up, I can just go here. Oh. And then I, I but I need to like open up my knee to like pin to like pin the hip a bit. Good. And the same rules apply of course. Shallow grip, pinching, high grip. So the first technique. Yeah, like the first technique we went through. This is also a viable option, like attacking the secondary leg with just like a straight ankle lock. And I actually do this also a lot because like people usually like are worried about this, like the heel hoof, whatever, and like they, they do this. It's actually this is good for me because this is just dangling right there, here. So I can just go here, on there, open up, and just get. And, I, and from this one, I, I like going flat on the back because if I just stay here, I don't have a good separation. This leg is like just dangling here, it's very high. So once I go on my back, I can get that stretch, that additional stretch mm. here on the secondary leg. On the other leg. Your okay. knee is outside. Huh? Your knee is outside. Yeah, my, my knee, I want to like flatten it down a bit so that, so like, to push him down. Okay. Push him down additionally here. What about the heel hook from there? Well, you know, 50-50, uh, what you get, what you, what you receive, right? So I can also okay. work on something here, like for example, here I can cover this. But the best for you would to be uh, feet to feet or...? Uh, yeah, I would say like, either here, cover here, just do like a... Prayer foot. Hmm? Prayer foot. <laughs> yeah, so here, or just like cover it, but I don't want to like extend. Because okay. like a lot of people like, yeah, they do the figure four, they extend, they overextend, and that's like... I can actually also like, for example, go here. All the way. I think the first question he, he had before is this one, I think, I don't know. When he hide the heel and the heel work the, the fifth from here and you also have the lock here. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, that, I, I think, I don't yeah. know, I'm not sure. So like, for example, uh, if, if it's gonna depend of course, like, you know. He hide, uh, what he does, he so don't like, want to go to the heel, right? Huh? Behind because he, he don't want to go to the, the heel hook. Oh yeah, but actually from this, like for, for me, if, if I'm like able to turn myself around, I can always like mm. pry this apart. Mm. Oh. Mm. Right, so I can like just wedge it in, and then go here, get some extra, and then finish, right? Okay, but yeah, for this one, like, because we're gonna be running out of time, so I just want you to try this one, like, opponent figure, figure four is here, I'm gonna, you know, go here, flatten down my uh, knee, and then I'm gonna go to the back, here. And because it's hard to pinch from this, but I'm using the fact that I can pinch here to like extend the leg and get like some decent pressure. Okay, Just try it, one, two, three. Uh, open up your... 
So you're pushing pushing down here. Uh, you want to like open your knee to trap the hip. That's easier for me, this one. Because, uh, then, like, flare it out. So, here. Yeah. Or the second one where you can just, like, throw this over. Yeah, completely. Throw this over completely. Yeah, completely, completely, completely. And then, uh, wow. Wow. And actually, if you want bad uh, advice, ask me. Uh, uh, ask me the relationship advice, whatever I say, do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So we have this, we have this video. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what's happening with it. I think it might be going on our OnlyFans, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Ask Alex. I don't know. He'll probably know. So, so do you have like any questions? Uh, on yeah. You guys had any like easy ways to finish the matrix or that the one where I can set up from the how you showed it how you showed so we'll do the K guard entry that what he showed so just to kind of get in like the submission where you get this leg over here and then finish. yeah like how do I finish that one like do you have anything from your arsenal that from this specific, I, I actually what you're doing is pretty good. You just gotta make sure that you bring like um, someone. So like, if you're already in this position, like, so if you're already in this position here, like this. Yeah. So what I like doing is like, actually I chase the hips. I chase the hips and then I like to bring this leg back. And then I go up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Nice. Yeah, so I, that, that's, that's how I like, like doing it. Like just, this is important because like, I'm not gonna be able to get get it if this leg is I'm in the way, so I like here and then. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, you have a... Um, yeah, I think I visually. Yeah. I think that's like the the, the most uh, effective way. You just gotta get that leg out of the way because it's like gonna be, gonna be blocking you. And, and if they bug you down, just look at like probably the most notable finish of this ever is Charles Oliveira over Eric Spicely. So like if you try that one, but then he bugs you down, right? You kind of you're falling. So he like he you're like trying the one that. Uh, Bilko just showed, and when he backs up into you, you just fall back and just look at how Oliveira finished against Spicely, right? Because, like, the one he did against Spicely, uh, which is an amazing last name, but anyway, so, like, <laughs> the one he did against that guy, right? When he, when he, so, if he, so, uh, Bilko, show, show this again. Like, like, it leads right into it, right? So, obviously, he was really, right? Like, let's say you're trying to do this one, but then he backs up into you. Because that's how he could stop mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, then Oliver just grabbed the hips and fell back and locked up a triangle. Oh, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, he, he kept yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, and so like, because he's trying to stop the first one, right? right? By backing him into you, he just made it worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's like a good combo. You got that one, and then you have the Oliver one. You can use the back and forth. And I, I always just tell people when you're doing this one, just be careful because you could hurt your own knee when you're doing it if you fuck it up, right? Because you don't want to, just make sure like, when they're coming on to you, right? You're going like this. Make sure you're still controlling. Like that's why I like to do the triangle because then you don't want them to fall on your ankle, right? And blow the knee. So like the triangle prevents that. So you're here and this keeps it safe. Does that make sense? Right? Because here you don't want that, right? That's like not very good for your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question. Um, it's like a little bit of a beginner question, but what can you do to uh, the first defense for the inside heel? You know, the, like the basic, basic defense. Like, in which direction do you turn? Do you want to show us? What yes. Do you but just. I think just like the basic stuff, like yes, slipping no, and. Okay, hiding the heel, right? Yes, the hiding the heel and to turn in which direction, you know? Give up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, your two options, I think, are like, try to rotate with him and get your hips higher than his so you can rotate faster than him. So if you look at, like, what Gary Tonin did to Wagner Hosha, that's a good example of that. Or two, just come on top. Like, if they're, if they're, like, if I'm turning like this and you're here, how do I stop you from coming on top? The answer is, like, I don't. Unfortunately, as I found out today, that is not a sweep under ADCC rules, which is, like, bro, you're going from top, you're bottom to top. Why is that not... The, the rules, I think, should be that if you are a bottom and then you get on top, 
that should be that should be points, but it's not, so whatever. Anyway, so yeah, but you'll still be on top, which is advantageous in a lot of situations. So hips higher or come on top because you can't always get your hips high. You, you sometimes, sometimes they spin so fast you just can't like the you're not get, you're not getting their heel there's some guys you'll go against that you're just not going to heel hook it's just a, you you recognize I, I think when you get good at leg locks you'll recognize within roughly like a minute whether you're going to be able to heel hook this guy because like let's say you're in an 80 cc trials match it's a fucking six minute match you waste four <laughs> minutes trying to heel hook them there's two minutes left to score points Right? Like, you're like, fuck. Like, you think you gotta make a determination? Like, two minutes, you gotta figure out, okay, can I get this guy? Right? If you can't get, imagine if you, imagine if you saw someone pulling clothes guard, they kept trying to arm bar somebody for like five minutes, you'd be like, damn, you should probably do something different, right? It's no different for leg locks, right? If you're trying to heal up somebody, you don't get them within like two, I think two minutes, if you think about that, that's actually a long amount of time to try to submit somebody, right? Like, that's not, two minutes sounds short, right? It is in some context, but in pursuing submissions, it's actually not. That's a long fucking time to be working, right? So, um, yeah, sometimes there's a certain point where you're just like, bro, bro. You, you, like Vilko mentioned, and it is true, like you'll go against guys with tiny feet who know how to hide. Or like you sometimes you'll roll with girls who have small feet. And you're like, fuck, I literally cannot heel hook this girl. Like it's just like the feet are too fucking small, right? So, uh, yeah, anyway, so it's just really difficult. So you should just come on top and do other things. At a certain point, that's the best move, yeah. At a certain point, the best thing to do in the leg lock game is to stop playing the leg lock game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, because, I, and, but the thing is, attacking the leg lock opened up the ability to get on top. So it still was, you, it wasn't a waste of time, you know what I mean? It's like if you jump on a Kimura and you don't get the Kimura and you take their back, would anyone say, Kimuras are a waste of time. You're, what are you talking about? I took the guys back with the move, right? If you, if you get on top, you chase a leg lock and you get on top, like, was it a waste of time to go for that leg lock? No, you got on top because of it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. On your YouTube channel, I, I stole a lot of 50 50 stuff from there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there was one thing that I would never see you do again. Um, I think at least when you basically like go like this, and for some reason, People in my gym have figured out that they can just literally grab my foot and start ripping it, and that's really fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, they can do that, but, like, realistically, like... So the, so the reason why you don't see me do this that much in competition is just because, like, I most of the time never have to do this. Like, it's a lot of... When I'm, there's, like, kind of a funny thing about leg locks that... If you're gonna leg lock somebody, most of the time you're gonna do it with like a lower level technique. Most of the time when you see two high level leg lock guys, they don't leg lock each other. There's exceptions to this, of course there are, right? But like generally speaking, when you see leg lock finishes in competition, it's like the lower level stuff, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like it's not like the more complicated, intricate, nuanced, fancy stuff. It never even gets to that point in competition, most of the time. Um, so this is, I would describe this as like a more high level sequence chasing the heel because the, the whole purpose of this is, is that like what you're doing is in the 50-50 you have a much greater ability to rotate your hips around some, uh, sorry, yeah, rotate your hips around somebody's knee. Now if you, uh, while simultaneously maintaining their knee within your knee line, if you try to do that in cross Aji, can you succeed? Yes, there are examples of it but it's a lot fucking harder because your feet are on the inside. So as you spin, if you spin too much, there's always a chance on them to pop their knee out and take your back. 50-50, that's not as great a chance because your feet are on the outside. So you can use your feet, outside position with the feet, it's easier to statically maintain that, uh, like just squeezing without them pulling the knee out, right? So this, what you're doing here, this is all about rotating your hips around their knee the ultimate goal is, so look up, Gary, you probably heard me mention this match. I mention this match all the time. Look up Gary Tonin versus Dylan Dennis, the, fir <coughs> the first one. They had two matches, not the Polaris match. So watch the first one. And in that match, Gary does a really, really nice job of getting his hips to face the front of Dylan's knee and immediately gives him heel exposure. So that match, that was where I learned that's where I kind of like realized this concept of, oh, if I can get my hips to face the front of the guy's knee, I can gain immediate heel exposure, right? Like you can immediately bang, catch the heel because you can't hide it anymore. What is hiding the heel? Hiding the heel is pointing the back of your knee at his hips. Like that's, the, that's what you're doing like on a mechanical level, right? So it stands to reason that if this is what hiding the heel is, the exact opposite is how we force heel exposure 
against strong resistance in a double seated situation. When you're both double seated is in both your hips are on the floor, right? Yeah, so that's what you're doing here. Now, if you're getting toe holded or whatever, like what, 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 what foot lock are they doing in here? Can I see? They're probably doing a toe hold, right? Yes. Yeah, so. Just literally like, grabbing and twisting. I don't know, there's yeah. one dude who just can do it. You're spending too much time in the position. This is not a position that you will never see me like, you'll never see me do this. Right. Like you're coming on top, you're just spinning quick. Like you, th th that foot, the only reason that foot's on the outside, by the way, like I would prefer to have outside Senkaku and spin with an outside Senkaku. The only reason that that foot is gonna be there is um, sometimes when you make the transition outside Senkaku, they can grab the ankle and hold the ankle here. But what they can't stop is the knee from rising. You can still come up even if they push the ankle. So. You shouldn't be, like, you should never, like, de delay in this action of spinning. Like, you're probably coming up. What I, this is what I'm guessing is happening. You're coming on top. Once you're coming on top, you're staying on top. And then you're not making the final transition, which is, Cyril, can I, can I borrow you real quick? The final transition, yeah, sit right, sit right there, that's correct. So, so, I'm here, he posts at this ankle. Yeah, he posted this ankle here, right? And then you're gonna, so you, you usually wanna have some grip either here or here. I, I like this better. So we're here. Here, there's that moment of the toe hold, right? But then I'm gonna switch here. No, come back, quick. This is the final, this is the final stop, right? This is where you catch the heel because now my hips face the front of his knee. It's like a knee bar, right? But it, it's more like a heel hook. But it's, it's like a knee bar in the sense that my hips face the front of the knee. So I catch the heel and I can force heel explosion, right? If I do this, yeah, then he can do it. Right? What it needs to be is this. He grabs the ankle. And I, I should be moving the, by the way, I should be moving the leg as well. Like if I'm here, I'm moving the leg, he's not gonna be totally like, you catch like quick. Does that make sense? And that's only gonna happen if I can't, like first I try to go here. First I try to go here, then I go here, then I go there. But if as I'm doing that, he grabs it, In that time, I'm moving my leg so he can't just immediately catch a toehold. I'm coming up the whole time and I'm immediately dropping this knee here. So this knee's either gonna go here or if he's tight, it goes outside. It can go either spot, that's okay. And you go back and you catch. So does that, does that make sense? Yeah, so, um, yeah, like, and worst case scenario, if he does get a good toehold on you, because sometimes it is gonna happen, you, you, so we're here. If he gets a good toe hold on me, say I'm like here, and maybe I delayed too much, and he catches the toe hold good, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this can be a really big fucking problem, right? Gets the toe hold, I'll come back, sorry. So as he's grabbing it, the second I start to feel him go for it, I'm gonna start like hand fighting. Like I'm not, and I'll like boot and stuff. I'm not gonna like let him get it. If he gets it really tight, immediately, this is here, and I'm gonna start spitting. Okay, he won. Like, you just get the fuck out of there, right? Like, yeah, that's the toe hold is, in my opinion, one of the most legitimate counters to the 50-50. Like, it's a, it's a very legitimate counter. Like, somebody gets a toe hold on you, you can't just like, you have to really take it seriously, right? So, but in that situation, if your legs are locked, you're kind of fucked. Like honestly, like it's really hard to get out of that. Like, cause your legs are locked. But here, your legs shouldn't be locked. When you're spinning to come on top, your legs should not be locked. They should be open. Because if your legs are, first of all, if your legs are locked, I don't really have that much hip mobility, right? But the second I open, I can move. So if he does catch the toe hold here, it should be when my foot is open. So you got, okay. Alarm bell should be going over your head. Post here. Here, take this leg out, start spinning, and push to get out. Does that make sense? Yeah, so first thing is act, act with a certain degree of urgency. Like, we don't wanna, we don't wanna delay here. We wanna get quickly into our, our game. Step two is, uh, if you see them going for it, first step is go back immediately hand fight. The priority in the leg lock game always has to be, I wanna fuck somebody up, but I wanna not get fucked up as I try to fuck them up, right? So like, that's the priority. Don't get fucked up, then fuck them up, okay? If you're trying to fuck them up, but you're not worrying about them not fucking you up, you're gonna get fucked up, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> anyway. And then the third step is just like, 
Okay, you've got, you're getting fucked up. Just spin out of there so you don't get fucked up, okay? And then you can try again to fuck them up. Yeah, anyway, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> hey guys, thanks a lot for coming. It was really, I, I, I wish I could have watched a little bit more. Maybe I'll get a look at the videos, but uh, it was our pleasure to have you guys here. And I, I really think it's actually, we're actually really lucky to have you guys here. So thanks a lot, Robert. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, you guys get some good rest tonight. <laughs> At least we didn't roll too much, right? So, all right, thanks so much, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Okay, you want to do that one more photo? Yeah.